angry and hate us because of impunity. The impunity you are seeing that we have a director of public prosecutions who from Monday to Friday sits scheming on which language and which law to use so as to help people who are politically correct, criminals who are, have court cases, to be released. I don't know if that is why. I don't know if that is why we separated the office of the Attorney General from the office of the Director of Public Supervision and made it an independent office. No, not only from Kakamega, but the DPP is my sister's son from Marina there. That it's not necessary. Let criminals who have stolen property and you know them go through the due process. If it was working, some of the ministers in office today would not be ministers. They became ministers because a corrupt parliament allowed them to become ministers and then the DPP followed it up by withdrawing their cases. Mr. Speaker, impunity of tribalism, leader of the majority, you have said it. Where will the children from the tribes where the president does not come from, where deputy president does not come from, where the prime cabinet secretary does not come from, how will they get jobs? Mr. Speaker, they hate us because of the impunity of nepotism. Yes. I know of a cabinet secretary who has employed in his office two sons of, yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the impunity of shooting members of the public dead. And they are set free. And we say we are living in a country of rule of law? Mr. Speaker, there is anger and hatred because the government is unable to fix this monster called CBC system. That system has killed free primary education. That system has destroyed the quality of education. For many years, my children have been doing the exam at Marinha Primary School, all of them. It's only right now that for the first time, my daughter, Sonia Inuni Haluare, is now in class seven junior secondary in a private school because at Marinha Primary School, where we all went to, all my children and myself, it has collapsed. There are two teachers in a class of 150 teaching our children of the poor. So there's no learning going on, colleagues. Mr. Speaker, there is anger and hatred because of the insensitivity of this parliament. We are so insensitive that when the issue of housing levy was raised, we did not respond critically. Allow me just to conclude. Oi, Mr. Speaker, can I? Give uh, Senator Boni further three minutes. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, the housing levy, I was shocked. We were addressed by the CS National Treasury, who told us that they were contemplating investing the money collected from the housing levy into treasury bills, meaning that we got money from members of the public and we are unable to absorb it. It therefore teaches me that we should have collected less to meet our capacity to absorb. Instead of wiping people's pay slips, and now we are unable to use that money. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, finally, things to do. Mr. President, dissolve government, uh, cabinet, reconstitute it. Mr. President, disband officers outside the Constitution including CAS, including Prime Cabinet Secretary. It is not in the Constitution of Kenya, Mr. Speaker, including officers of First Ladies, including, Mr. Speaker, advisors, 
if advisors are useful, then what David is doing is not advice, is misadvice. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the president should quickly restructure the security organs by firing people. The IG included. And finally, but not least, all the sky teams must be grounded. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm on.